and Gauli erosion has severed the major road connecting Imo and Anambra states. The menace has uh, had caused serious commotion and panic among residents of the area, leaving many outgoing and incoming vehicles stranded. The incident, which happened at uh, Umuchima in Ideato's south local government area of Imo State, was made worse as the alternative route is uh, still not viable. It's been ongoing you know, from time to time, but I think uh, it got worse there a couple of months ago. And uh, we've made it known to the federal government that we need uh, uh, attention. This road needs attention. My people are being cut off from the system and um, you know, we sincerely asking for an, uh, an expedited uh, assistance overnight. Something has to be done. You can see by yourself, the people, they cannot assess the other communities. And they predominantly, they are farmers. And they can't even, when they farm, they can't bring their pro produce to, to the market. This is a major road to Anambra to Olu. It's also a major road that linking the Anambra community State. to Anambra State. So it's a, it's a very important trunk A route that something needs to be done. And I also want to extend the appeal to the federal government to do something expeditiously so that uh, you know, the road will not continue to curve in. To have an on-the-spot assessment of uh, the, the very grievous uh, erosion menace we are having here on this major road, the major link road that links Idato Nation to the other neighboring states, you know, it's not just Idato. You know, this is a trunk air road, federal road per se, but then, you know, it has affected a lot of economic activities. And then, um, that is why we are here, you know, and then uh, we've come to see for ourselves and uh, to really make recommendation to the federal government and then to the state government in particular to ensure that remedial actions are taken. Uh, what the people have gone through is better imagined. Um, this is a predominantly a rural area. Um, of course, you know, people move around trying to find a way to survive. And uh, you could never tell who could be coming back at any, whatever time in the, in the, of the day or in the night. Uh, like you did say when you were interviewing the Honourable Member, um, the dangers and the challenges that people here may have been uh, going through. It's obvious that this is a dead trap, it's a dead trap. Um, being a predominantly rural area, you don't rule out uh, the fact that somebody could go to a small event here and drink himself to stupor, and on the way back you forget that this area has collapsed. And before you know it, he ends up at the, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the bottom of the speed, and that would be the, the, the end of his story. So obviously the presence of this here does not, um, it's not, it's not good at all for us and for our people. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.